guys, thanks for joining me. Today I have summer DIYs and these came out so cute. This first one we're going to start off with is all Dollar Tree products and I took the Dollar Tree Little Kids flip flops and the Dollar Tree board and I kind of like cut it because it was kind of too long. Now what you see here is I'm just going to remove all the tags and everything off the flip flops. This was one of the beach sign, like I said, I cut it. So now I'm gonna take these three colors and I'm gonna start painting this board and we're gonna make it look like the ocean. But we're also gonna make it look like there's a sand barge. So I'm gonna be starting off with the beige paint first. I'm also adding some of the white with the beige and you can see that I'm mixing it together. I'm going to wipe it down with a baby wipe. The next color I'm going to be using is the aquamarine and I'm going to do the same thing. Add a little bit of white, mix it and then wipe it down with the baby wipe. So the next color is going to be the Caribbean and I'm going to do the same thing so then once everything is done I'm going to use the baby wipe one more time and just make sure everything is blended. Now while that's dry, I'm going to take the flip-flops, going to take them apart and cut the straps and everything, and then I'm going to start painting it. Alright, I'm going to start using the white chalk paint, and I believe I used two coats. So I'm going to be taking the aquamarine paint and I'm going to be using a ruler because I don't have small enough uh, washi tape or any tape to create the line. So I'm just going to use the ruler and just give guide me to make the stripes and it worked out fine. And I had to do a little touch up afterwards with the, the white paint but all in all it came out cute. So next I'm going to be using the aquamarine. I'm going to be painting the side of the flip flops with this color. All right, next I'm going to be taking the vinyl words that I cut on my Cricut. It says, life is better in flip-flops, which I agree 100%. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree nautical rope. And right now I'm just kind of measuring the distance of where I need to cut it. Next I'm going to place the nautical rope through the holes and place some glue in back just to hold it in place. I'm placing some tape on the rope because it makes it easier to go through the hole. Now I'm going to place them down on the board when using some hot glue. I'm going to be taking these Dollar Tree little shells and I'm going to place them right on top right above where it says flip flops and I think this really gave it a nice added touch. Now 
All right, so to hang the sign, I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree nautical rope. I'm just going to place a piece along the back and then hot glue it. And this is how it turned out. I think it came out so cute. Perfect for summer. Okay, for this DIY, we're going to take some Dollar Tree products and we're going to make a turtle sign. So Dollar Tree has these really cute turtle uh, wood pieces and I grabbed two packs of them. And then we have these gems. This contact paper, I decided not to use it. I was going to use it because it looks like sand, but then I decided not to use it. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this paint and I'm going to paint the larger turtle with this color. So I went ahead and painted one of the little small turtles with the territorial beige. Now I'm going to be using the agave on the other small turtle. For the last turtle, I'm going to be using the aqua marine color. Now I'm going to be applying the lime green color sequins, I think they're called, on the little brown turtle. It was a little hard to get those little <laughs> sequins on there, especially when you have nails. And every time I would pick it up, it, it would fly. <laughs> and uh, But I managed to get it on and they look really cute with them. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera. Every turtle is gonna have a different sequins color. Um, now I'm gonna do the larger turtle with the blue gems. So now I'm going to put everything together. The craft paper I purchased from uh, Walmart, it came like in one of those books. I use a glue stick to place down the craft paper. Now I'm going to place down the turtles on the glass part of it and I'm going to use my glue gun to place them down. So I'm just placing the turtles down just to get an idea of how I want them situated before I use the glue gun. Um, so I got the mama turtle and the three little babies. So now that I have it situated the way I like it, I'm going to start placing them down. Next, I'm going to take these little tiny shells that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place a few at the bottom. So I thought it was missing something, so I decided to use the Dollar Tree um, stencil. So I'm just going to use the white Waverly chalk paint and just um, put it right on the cardstock. So I'm just going to use a makeup sponge just to dab on the paint. I mean, it came out pretty good. I mean, considering a Dollar Tree, I mean, it could have came out better, but you know, it's Dollar Tree products. So this is how it turned out. So I put everything back together and this is how it turned out. I think it came out so stinking cute. Moving on to the next DIY, I took this um, frame that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance for like $1.75, I think it was. And um, I got these little fish and fishing pole from Dollar Tree in the toy department. And I'm going to be using the dark blue paint and the white Waverly chalk. Paint. I'm going to start off by painting the white inside the frame.
Next, I'm going to be taking this dark blue paint and paint the outer edges of the frame. So now I'm going to start painting the fish. I'm going to take the first one and I'm going to use the dark blue paint, the same color. And I used two coats on this because it's kind of hard to paint plastic. The next fish I'm going to paint with this Caribbean paint and I'm going to do the same thing, paint it two coats. Okay, the last fish, I'm gonna paint it with this turquoise color and um, two coats as well. So here I'm grabbing the dark blue fish and I'm taking the Caribbean blue color and I'm kind of like going back and forth with the color so it looks like two-tone. So I'm doing the same thing to the other fish, giving it, um, make the fish look three-dimensional. So now I have to paint the little fishing pole and I'm gonna take the Caribbean blue and I'm gonna start off with that color. Um, and then I'm gonna use the turquoise and the dark blue as well. I'm going to do the same thing and I was kind of debating if I should use the fishing pole in this project but I think it kind of went together and I think in the end it did look cute. Now I'm using the dark blue on the pole itself. I'm going to be using this uh, Dollar Tree mesh ribbon for the bottom and the back to place the fish on. didn't really like it at the end and I kept looking at it and I'm like I don't like it. So in the end, I took the ribbon out and I just painted the inside with the Caribbean blue. So that is the difference that I changed at the end. Now I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun to place the fish inside. So next I need to place the fishing pole at the top and do the same thing, place a little hot glue. I'm going to take the white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to dry brush the fish and the fishing pole and the wood frame. Now I'm dry brushing the outside of the frame. I thought I would make something for those fish lovers or something you could place in a den or a little boys room or something like that. I think for a little toy at Dollar Tree, I think it came out really cute, and this is the end result. Okay, for this DIY, we're switching gears. We're going into a little more summer DIYs. I took the Dollar Tree little cutting board and um, I made these little watermelon slices out of the dry clay and then I painted them and then put Mod Podge over the top. And I'm gonna use the Dollar Tree napkins and the white Waverly chalk paint. I'm gonna start off by placing one coat of the white chalk paint on the cutting board.
So I use my Cricut and I'm going to be placing down the vinyl on the little cutting board. And um, although the <laughs> I was having nothing but a problem with my Cricut and uh, the words weren't sticking, they were just a mess. Um, so I had to slowly put it on the board. I have actually had to grab it with my finger and place it down and oh it's a crazy mess i mean me and the cricket just don't get along <laughs> okay so i'm going to be using the dollar tree polka dot green napkin and just going to take the bottom part of the napkin apart now i'm just going to place the cutting board on the napkin and cut around it i'm not going to use the whole entire napkin on the cutting board just a little piece of it now placing the napkin right below the vinyl words and I'm going to use the Mod Podge to place it down and then once it dries I will cut the edges and clean it up. Now I'm just cutting the edges with my scissors and then I'm going to take a nail file and just kind of like clean it up a little bit better. Because the cutting board's a little too small, I'm just going to use the two watermelon that I made. I'm just going to hot glue them down. I think this comes out so adorable. It's perfect for like a tear tray. Look how super cute it looks. It's so stinking cute. Now I'm going to use this Dollar Tree red checkered ribbon and I'm just going to create a little bow at the top and I think that sets it off and it's so stinking cute. So I hot glue a little piece of the ribbon. Now I'm just gonna make a shoelace type of a bow and then hot glue it to the top. This was so simple to make and this came out so cute and this is how it turned out guys. Let me know in the comments if you like it. Okay, this is going to be for all you bee lovers out there. I made this for you. Dollar Tree came out with these really cool wall stickers. It looks like a beehive. I'm going to take Dollar Tree uh, hexagon frame and the Dollar Tree Be Happy stickers. So I'm just going to remove the back from the frame and because um, I'm going to trace the little um, wall sticker that looks like a honeycomb and I'm going to trace that and put that inside. So it has like that paper inside, it only has like a little tiny part of uh, the square showing. So I thought, well, might as well use it. And I think this came out really cute using it this way. So I'm just going to trace out um, where I have to cut the little honeycomb part of it and then place that inside. So I'm just using my knife to cut around it. So I'm just going to peel it and place it down on the backing. So I'm just making sure it looks good and just placing that white part over the top. And then I'm going to start adding the little bees to it. I'm going to take, um, I'm going to cut out the bee, two bees, and place it down. Looks like they're going for the honeycomb. So I'm going to use the word that says bee and place that at the top. And then I'm going to use the word that says happy and place that sticker at the bottom. Now I'm placing down the bee stickers. I'm going to place two of them down. I kind of wish the honeycomb was yellow and um, couldn't figure out how I can make it yellow without like, you know, painting it would look kind of funny. But all in all, it still looks cute. So 
So I wanted to give it a little bit of color, so I'm going to use some of the little flowers that are on the stickers, and I'm going to place, I think, two down. And um, I think it looks better this way because, you know, obviously the bees need to be buzzing around flowers. <laughs> Now I'm closing the frame and this is how cute it came out but I did decide to add a little tiny bow to the side so I'm going to be using Dollar Tree uh, ribbon and just place a little bow in the corner. So I duct tailed all three of them and I'm going to put them together and just tie it off with some jute twine and hot glue to the end and that is it. This was quick and easy and this comes out so cute. I added a few little bees that I bought from Hobby Lobby to the front. And this is how it turned out. Okay, for this DIY, very cute, quick and easy. You can use this for a tiered tray. I took Dollar Tree, two little wood palettes, and the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to start stickers. off by painting the one palette with this Admiral Blue. The other palette. Now I'm going to take my white Waverly chalk paint and give him a white wash look to make it look like it's a, a weathered beach look. Now I'm taking these Dollar Tree cute little stickers. They are adorable. All summer uh, attire in there and um, I'm going to start placing them down on the little palettes. Um, and this is so adorable. And like I said, you can use this as a tiered tray or you can place it anywhere around your house. Um, it's just a cute little idea. It's fast and easy. So I'm going to start off with the summer attire. I'm going to use the bathing suit and the flip flops and the um, beach ball. I'm just placing them down. You can actually use some hot glue to reinforce it, but for video purposes, I'm just placing them down on the little palettes. Um, and the color is so vibrant on the darker blue palette. Um, I just love the way they came out. It's just a cute little idea. So I'm going to work on the other palette and this one's going to be with the surfboard and more of the ocean kind of thing theme going on. Um, this also looks really cool. The color cup coordination, everything matches perfectly. And there you have it. Very quick and easy decor, perfect for summer. And it really took, what, like two minutes to make? It's that quick. And this is how it turned out.
Okay, this is going to be the last DIY. This is very quick and easy. Dollar Tree little towel, Dollar Tree little flat uh, canvas, and Dollar Tree summer glasses. So I'm laying out the towel and I'm going to place the canvas on top and just trace it because I'm going to Mod Podge it to the front of it. Now I'm placing down the Mod Podge on the canvas and I'm going to place the material over the top. So I want the material to cover the whole canvas so I'm just going to place some glue in back. I'm going to take these really cute Dollar Tree sunglasses and I'm just going to hot glue it to the front of the sign. I mean, you can decorate any way you like. I just decided just to put the sunglasses in front. I'm going to take the uh, sunglass arms off because they won't lay flat. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the top. It's really quick and easy. I mean, it didn't take much effort to make. I mean, if you want to make a cute little beach sign, maybe place it outside by the poolside or something. It's very cute. And this is how it turned out. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Until next time, guys, I will see you. Bye-bye.